Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all MMA news. So let me tell you what Vinny Shorman says about this guy, Darren Till, because Vinny Shorman's very high on him. You know Vinny's a, a big-time uh, Muay Thai commentator. He knows a lot of shit about Muay Thai. Till's a he, monster. He said Darren Till was beating men at 15 years of age, went to Romania, won an eight-man tournament, fought two fights with a broken foot at 17, started training under uh, Colin Heron from Kaboon, uh, a guy who was a super Thai boxer himself, now successful MMA gym, known as Colin for 30 years, a top coach. Till, till super determined, lived in Brazil too, and he's a real rags to riches story. He got he got stabbed. He had to go to Brazil because he got stabbed twice. This guy right here? Yeah. He got stabbed in he's England. Brazilian? In Liverpool, his coach was like, yo, man, if you want to be successful, you need to move to Brazil. Move to Brazil. Why? Went undefeated there. Just because so much shit in but Liverpool. He got stabbed in at Liverpool a party, because yeah. it, people are so fucking crazy. I think it's all angels just walk by. Well, I was just telling him that he's a lightweight and he needs to get in his own division. Don't be coming in this welterweight division that I rule already because I ain't no welterweight. I'm a light heavyweight fighting at welterweight. Just get back to your division and stop trying to make a fight with me because I'll shut his lights straight out. And, you know, he was saying that no one's hit me like he's hit me. And, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's giving it, he's giving back what he's getting set. We're, we're, we're both just going back and forth, which was fun. I enjoyed it. You know, he, he's a crazy guy. I love it. <laughs> it was phenomenal. It was incredibly entertaining. By the way, how much do you weigh? Like on fight night, how much did you weigh? 90 kilos, 200 pounds. I ain't no welterweight. I'm a light heavyweight fighting in the welterweight. They, it should be illegal what I'm doing. The UFC should ban it, but they can't because I do it naturally and I do it professionally and no one can do a fucking thing about it. So fuck them all. Yeah, I'm definitely going to move up to 185 and then I'm going to go to light heavyweight. I've got plans and that's what I'm going to do. You know, Connor, Connor took Storm. He, he took the feather. He took the lightweight. People might take this as arrogance now, Ariel, and it's not arrogance. It's just confidence in me. I, I know I'm going to take every division higher than me by Storm. I know this. I can see it already. Hey, how you down, chill? Uh, congratulations, my brother. But maybe it's gonna sound better if I do it in scouts. Sound fight, lad. Fucking proud of you, lad. I'm fucking proud. But you didn't say fucking shit about your uncle, Hanach. You fucking said, you said thanks to everyone. You fucking had your, your beds grid on your arm. And, and you don't fucking say nothing about your fucking coach. You're fucking, you're fucking inspiration, but don't worry, fucking celebrate, have some fucking Lambrini, have a fucking Crowsley, fucking get cabbage, and then get the fuck back to work, lad, or I'll fucking bop you, Keta, I'll fucking end you, lad, now fuck off.